Wesley Willis? What? You ever heard of Wesley Willis? No. <laughs> you don't know. That's probably good then. Um, so if you want to find, um, what I want to do is I want to simplify this a logarithmic expression. But what I'm not simplify, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to expand it. And the reason why I'm going to expand it is we're just going to get some practice using the properties of logs. So um, a couple things you guys need to remember is your, um, when you have a root or a rational expression, that root extends to both of my numerator and my denominator. So therefore, I can rewrite this as ln of x2 squared raised to 1 half all over y cubed raised to the 1 half. All right, then remember, whenever you have um, Whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, that's going to be, you can represent, you multiply them. So I'm going to have ln of x to the um, 2 divided by 2, which would be to the first power, over y to the 3 halves. All right, so now I have my exponents kind of simplified. So the next thing I notice is since I'm using division, I can rewrite this as a subtraction problem. So I can get ln of x minus ln of y to the 3 halves. All right, so whenever you have a L, or whenever you have division of a logarithm, you have your two terms inside your logarithm, this is kind of like this. So whenever I have division, I don't really like how that L is. Whenever I have division inside of my term of my logarithm, I can rewrite it as two logarithms with a subtraction. And then whenever you have an exponent, you can bring that exponent in front. So therefore, my final answer in expanding it will be three halves ln of y. So that's how you expand a logarithm when using a uh, root over a rational expression with exponents.